You let him get Ooh. a full head of steam. Ooh. He's gone. That's too much pressure on the safety. There's no way the safety can make that play when that guy has a head of steam like that. And then late in the first half, that they have no time. They have 57 seconds left, and he makes two plays with his feet that give them a chip shot field goal, which Elliott missed, or they, they could have had another three points. But we'll check this out. This is just pure scramble. Easy, effortless, poise. I think I'm going to go. And all of a sudden, he's beating people around the corner, and and he's running for, for 26 yards. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and then he, he scrambles again for 12 more yards. Right up the gut. You get out your yeah, lane, right up and here you go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Remember, he's packing a 225-pound wallop, so he's, he's like Taysom Hill. He may not look as big as Taysom yeah. Hill, but he is delivering that kind of wallop. And they always say, pound for pound in the weight room, that guy is I can the believe it, Skip, but anytime you're dealing with a guy that has legs like that, you never run past him. No. Nope. Because if you run past him, he's going to jump out the window and yep. take off on you. And that's what he they did. Normally, did. when you get even, you flatten out. You're like, okay, I'm far enough. And I do, like I said, I don't know the game plan, but clearly, Skip, even if you hadn't seen a whole lot of him on tape in the NFL, you watched enough of him at Alabama, you watched enough of him at Oklahoma to know that he has legs. And if you give up contain, he will make you pay. If you run past him, he will make you pay. He didn't throw the ball particularly well, Skip. He was, what, 17 or 30? But... When you make the kind of mistakes that New Orleans made, a kid like this, Skip, that has nothing to, lo uh, to lose, and I, I think Dougie Peterson said, son, look, if your first read is not there, you God gave you these legs. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of them. And he took full advantage. Skip, I'm surprised. Like I said, think about it. They've been gone three years and not allowed a running back to gain 100 yards. 56 games. They yeah. gave up two, two in the same game. And it was because of the read option because 82, ju we just saw, yeah. went to Miles Sanders right. on one play. Right. But Jalen was getting them in chunks. Trump. His his 106 were more impressive to me than yeah. Miles Sanders' 115. Because they, they, were, they were gut yeah. punches. Yeah. Because you skip it was third down, and all of a sudden he had the first down. But if you look at J uh, Miles Sanders, Skip, he ran for a buck 15 on 14 carries. He had 56 yards on 16 carries over the last two yep. games. So what they did, they made a conscious effort to get, he, they could have, should have gave him more. But they made an effort to try to run the football as opposed, yep. and like I said, Skip, the line, I, I think the line, Skip, the, Jalen Hurts was able to get out of harm's way when some of those rushes, they would have got Carson. Carson would have held on to the football trying to make something. And I think the thing, this might be the best thing to happen to him because he's going to come back in and he's going to have to realize, Skip, I just can't hold the ball. Yeah. Guys that hold the ball mm -hmm. get sacked. Yep. Guys that hold the ball end up holding the clipboard. They do. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. You oh. saw Big Ben when he started, when they forced him to hold on to the ball, they started getting closer and closer. They started putting him on the ground. All right. Back to degree of difficulty for this young man. man can we hear what our man Daryl Johnson said on the Fox telecast with 11-16 left in the fourth quarter? Can we just hear this just to frame what this young man Jalen Hurts was up against? I've never seen a rash of injuries during the course of a game the way that they have fit Philadelphia this afternoon. This is unbelievable. Holy cow. I've never seen anything like this. Holy cow. Darius Slay, their best cornerback, he, he limps out. And, uh, he had a head injury. We had Avante Maddox, their starting corner, went out with a knee. Rodney McLeod, their safety, went out with a knee. And then in order, Malik Jackson, Derek Barnett, and Josh Schwett went out of the front seven. It's so many injuries mm -hmm. that all of a sudden it's on a silver platter for Taysom Hell to get him back in the game. Jalen did make one mistake late as they were trying to kill the clock. You just got to hold, you right. got to protect because they're right. going to try to get it out of your hands. They, they're punching. And, and they punched it out of his hand. But that was the only mistake he made the whole day. And even yet and still, they hung on and, and controlled the clock enough that they put away a team that is hard to put away, that, that will come back on you. Hey, hey, Skip, you know they were that cowboy mm -hmm. on side away from you. I don't know how the Saints missed it. They had three guys and there was not an eagle in sight. And somehow the linebacker, Riley, comes screaming in he and did. he gets the ball from three Saints, Skip. I'm like... I know this is not going to happen again, and everybody's doing the exact same thing to Falcons. Did. What do they do, Skip? They back it up, they back it up, and the ball somehow caroms and hit the guy's foot and bounces out. And I was like, are you kidding me? Y'all saw this mm -hmm. play out before, and y'all doing the exact same thing. Okay, so to me, when I add up all the degree of difficulty, I say, show me a better rookie debut under worse circumstances than that one. If we go back to Cam in 2011, he just lit it up. It just stunned the world. Right. 
but it was at Arizona. They lost the game 28 to 21. He threw for 422 and set a bar that he's <laughs> never been able to live back up to. Yeah. His first two games were 422, and then he goes home and throws for 432. It's, it's Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. But he never lived back up to that because he's never had a 400 since then. Right. Okay, but, but again, they did lose that game. And then I look at Tom Brady's first start. He got thrown into the fire, obviously, <laughs> after the Bledsoe injury. They just annihilated Peyton the next mm -hmm. week at Foxborough. Right. It was Peyton's fourth year, and he was he was rolling mm -hmm. by then. But it was more of a defensive game because Tom didn't have big numbers in that game. He was 13 of 23 for 168. So it wasn't like this degree right. of difficulty. That defense was probably the best defense yeah. Tom played with in New England. Yeah, you don't normally, your first start doesn't normally come against a team that's the number one seed in your conference yep. and coming off nine straight wins. That yep. normally does not happen. That does not happen. And then Lamar's first start going back two years. Right. But it was against Cincinnati, you know, and yeah, they, they were he struggling. He ran wild. But he, he ran wild. He ran for 119 yards, but his QBR was low in that game, yeah. 27. So, again, I, I dare you to go back to your annals, go back through history. And you might you might be able to find yeah. one because this is vast. This is right. every rookie's first start. or not, It doesn't even have to be your, your rookie year. It could be your second or third right. year. Whatever your first start was, mm -hmm. show me a better one, better poise, better better command of, of your emotions and the situation than this kid against that team under those circumstances right. pulled off yesterday. And hey, would I be shocked if he pulled them into the lead in the AFC East? I, I mean, sorry, the NFC East. I, I would not be shocked. I, I don't see. Okay. I don't see Washington losing out. Skip. Okay. Washington's going to have to lose out. Yeah, but Philly, they, they wouldn't. Philly's in better shape than Dallas would be. So the the worst test, the next tough test for Jalen Hurts is going to be at Kyler right. next right. week because Kyler's defense was roaring yesterday at the Giants. Then they go. The, the Eagles go to Dallas. I'd, I'd have to go Eagles, as much as I hate them. And then they play Washington head-to-head -head at home in the last game. Right. Well, Washington has Seattle mm -hmm. and then Carolina, which they should be able to beat Carolina. But if they, they win one game, they'd, they'd win the division. All they got to do is win one game. Let's see. If, if Philly won out, that would be 7-8-1. They they would win on on that. but The, the tie. Because yeah. Yeah. Washington has six wins right, right now, so they need to... Washington, right. Washington, Washington has six wins, right. but but remember, Philly's got that tie against. Yeah, Joe if Burrow. Philly wins out, Philly would win the division. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got it. And because I, they would have to beat Washington, so they would have to. Yeah. Listen, I I would not bet against Jalen Hurts. Yeah, that front now. Whew. Now you talk about it. They put on the show yesterday. Mm -hmm. Washington's front four. They put on the show. Well, they had to because <laughs> their quarterbacks were both so bad. And Alex Smith, God bless him, I'm knocking on wood. It's calf. He's got some calf injury, right. but they said it didn't look that bad. Right. The, the x-rays were fine, right. negative. But he was horrible. He had a QBR of nine, and th that's when he was healthy, right? right? Yes, it, was, it wasn't going good. Yeah. I mean, and the best thing to happen, I mean, they got a pick, but they got a pick six, and they got a scoop and score. They did. That's basically their point. That was it. That, those are their two <laughs> touchdowns. They didn't score an offensive no. touchdown. So, Skip, give, give, the, give the young man credit. He played unbelievable yesterday, given the circumstances. Uh, the Saints were a tough team, but anybody that's, that's convinced that Taysom Hill is an every down, is an everyday quarterback. Still up for grabs. Yeah, it, it absolutely so is. The it jury absolutely is still out. Is. Because, Skip, you see what happens when a team can put points on the board mm -hmm. and you just can't shut them down like they did Denver? Yep. So we're going to find out. We, I think, you know what? They might put some little magic potion. Drew Brees is going, oh, they're going to take our time with Drew. No, you're not. Mm. Because guess what? You're not in first anymore. The Packers are in first place in the NFC. Mm. And they're playing unbelievable. Which is why Drew Brees may get rushed yeah, back yeah, to exactly. game next Sunday at New Orleans against Kansas City. Remember, oh, yeah, they're going to take their time with Drew. They got time. They like what they got with Taysom Hill. I will not be shocked if I don't see Drew Brees going head to head with my homeboy. Because if you play like that against, uh, uh, Jay, you play like you played against Jalen Hurts, mm -hmm. against Patrick Mahomes, he'll have 50. He'll well, put is 50. Is it possible we'd see Jameis Winston? Maybe. Nah, that may be a possibility. Maybe. Yeah. So I, I still like Taysom Hill, but I love Jalen Hurts. And this is just me, and I don't want to pile on your man, as you say, walk it to him. Yes. I say give it to him. That game yesterday was the kind of game in which he would have had six sacks, yes. two interceptions, yes. two lost fumbles. Yes. And 
Jalen had none of the above. He would have held onto the ball far too long, lied, lied guys to get to him, and, and the ball would have come would come out when he hits the dirt. Jalen Hurts did the right thing. First reason out there, I'm gone. I'll see y'all. I'll, I'll see you at the first down marker. Well, now I do not. Uh, whew, I wouldn't want to be in the shoes of the Philly Brass or Dougie P now because they have a huge decision confronting them. Once again, we got three more games. Just let it play out. You yeah. don't have to make a decision. Obviously, he's played well enough. I mean, I don't know what the debate is. You would not take I can see, Skip, if he had got nicked or something, they lost the game. We're like, oh, man. I thought, but no, he won. But they're still stuck with him going to next year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Carson but Wentz. I'm saying, this year, you, you don't, you're not in a position, you're in a position, Jalen Hurts, unless he gets hurt. I'm going to ride him out. Yep.